Hey guys, it's me Rachel and welcome to my Fruit Diary review. Here I will go to my hashtag Rachel's Fruit Diary and read out what I've previously wrote over the last couple of days. But first, before I go into that, it's Father's Day on Sunday. I got Dad a card. The guy is saying, oh no, Bob's down with cramp in his pint lifting arm just before extra time. I thought I'd make a joke out of Dad's drinking thing. He likes to have a bit of drink every now and again and it's a bit silly. Also, I got in this shirt. <laughs> Tomato ketchup, you ask? Well, it's random. He likes random things and I'm random. And hopefully, hopefully it should fit him. If it doesn't, then I have a receipt. But it should, should fit him. Ugh, my nose is itchy. But without further ado, let's not waste time and read what has been happening. Okay, Rachel's Fruit Diary number 12. This is just after my final video, everyday video. And I wrote, Today I'm feasting upon a golden delicious apple, a few cherries, blueberries and dates. I am just casually eating them, not doing anything too amazing with them. Something to add, I have discovered that I have a sore spot next to my nose. I went to the bathroom after I woke up this morning and I felt a sore and numb sensation. I don't know what it could be. Maybe it's fruit that's pushing toxins out of my skin. Having a barbecue later should be nice. The spot in question was around here. Right there. It's gone now, so... I don't know what it was. Could it be toxins? I really have no idea. Rachel's Fruit Diary, number 13. Planning on heading back to the castle to get better shots today. What I had for brunch was the last few cherries that I have. Some were a little bruised, which was odd. I ate a whole orange and an apple. Still got plenty of fruit to see me through the coming week. Dates, though, I finished eating them last night and very last one had a stone in it. Tongue face. Yes, I went to uh, the castle on Monday. I'm doing that little tiny, tiny, tiny documentary about Newark Castle. I haven't exactly edited that, but it should be done in the next couple of days. That's if I start it. <laughs> uh, Rachel's Fruit Diary, number 14. I smell awfully fruity today. I ate an apple, pear and an orange today. Not sure if I smell more orangey or pear-y, but either way, they did spray me with their juices. Shall make my way to the store tomorrow, pick up more dates. Damn, I love them some dates. Also, I have some Special K for breakfast. Quite nice. I had quite a lot of Special K on that day, actually. <laughs> uh, two or three bowls. <sighs> Just like the dates, they completely flushed me out. It was insane. <laughs> and today's post is quite a long one. Rachel's Fruit Diary 15. So today, what's on the menu? Pretty much the same as what I ate yesterday. Apple, pear and an orange. The pear had a brown mark on the top, so I chopped it. Other than that, it tastes fine. Currently low on little things, so I'll pop to the shop for a top up on fruits. Maybe some blueberries, that kind of jazz. Oh, dates. I need to get some of them dates. I have some interesting news this year. I have been told that I have lost some weight. Nothing too dramatic. Just an inch. I don't see any change, but I have to say that one of my tight shirts is starting to feel less tight. The shirt could could have grown for all I knew, but I will but I will keep an eye on it. Yeah. Uh, apparently, I have lost a bit of weight, but I don't exactly see it. I mean, I just look the same, but it has exactly been. Two weeks and a day since I've started my fruit diet type thing. Hopefully Tony will see this video and 
you'll know that I'm still doing this. I am still doing this, Tony, don't you worry. Just, I forgot, fed up of posting every day with the same thing, on and on, and I thought, oh, why don't I create a hashtag and just <laughs> write what I ate? It'd just be like a quick little bit. Keep things going. But yeah, I'll keep doing that. And I'll get back to you when I've finished writing day 20. Hope you're having a wonderful day today, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook for daily posts of my fruit diary. Um, I just think those posts are falling on blind ears or blind eyes or deaf ears or however it's called. So I thought, yeah, I'll make a video every now and again. Round it up to the nearest 10. Ah. But yeah, make sure you follow me on Facebook and then Twitter. <laughs> My posts always fall onto Twitter. Also, it falls onto uh, Tumblr as well, but I hardly use Tumblr. I just go there for looking at random pictures. <laughs> so, Facebook, Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you like, favourite, um, share it with your pears, share it with your oranges, and share it with your apples. I can't. I don't. I don't know a, a sharing jingle. I'm sorry. <laughs> Take care, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.